Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a foundation demo. Um, hoping to add just some distractions for you guys at this time. Hope everyone is doing well or, you know, hanging in there. I shared um, on my Insta stories today that it's, you know, I think we all need to give ourselves grace during this time, meaning that, you know, I haven't been very motivated to work out from home. It's just not like I haven't been motivated to like try new recipes or like clean out all my closets. It's just, I've been really kind of just either working or just, you know, laying low. Um, so I think it's good, you know, to kind of give ourselves grace during this time. If you find yourself, you're only a very productive person and during this time you're not getting much done, that's okay. It's like a very uncertain time. So I think it's okay to give ourselves the grace that if we're normally like really active and a workout person and we don't feel motivated to do that right now, that's okay. Talk to yourself as you would a friend who was telling you their stresses. You know, what would you say to them? You'd be like, it's okay. You know, just take care of yourself right now. Try to take care of your mental state. And, you know, in time, you will be able to pick all those things up again. Um, but I think uh, I was sharing that today on my Insta story. So I thought I would share that here as well. Um, but I'm be doing a foundation, um, demo today. I thought it was just something like really quick. Um, I'll have some other videos planned that I'll be putting up. Um, I picked up the Bite Change Maker Foundation, Supercharged Micellar Foundation, and I was very impressed. I wasn't expecting to be very impressed by it, but I was so impressed. I got the shade L25. The shade below it was out of stock, so it's a little, a little dark, but I think it will work for the summer for me, especially when I'm like spray tanning. Um, it's just, a, it's a medium coverage foundation. Um, medium coverage, natural finish, great for all skin types. It's one of those just skin foundations. And I really, I mean, it's like a whipped texture. I'll show you kind of up close what the texture looks like. Um, but it gives amazing coverage. And I was worried it was going to be you know, maybe too dewy for me or too shiny, too glowy. But it's more of a natural finish. If you are exceptionally oily, I would say definitely set it with a powder. Um, if you're definitely more dry, I think you would really actually enjoy this and it does not pull in any dry patches. It's, it's pretty like in the middle of everything, which I love about it. And it covers, if you hear craziness, that's Miles downstairs having some fun with daddy daycare. Um, don't know what they're doing, but they're being crazy. And, um, I lost my train of thought, but it covers everything. Um, it's not full coverage, but it's enough to, and this isn't a tinted moisturizer. That's what I love. But the thing is you can add, you know, less if you want, more if you want. It's a great foundation to kind of mix with other things. I mean, I have a large forehead, so it always looks a little shiny, um, a little shiny more than other places on my face, but it's a really gorgeous, natural skin finish. And it does give a slightly kind of airbrushed finish to the skin. It is very long wearing, which I did not expect. Um, let me just show you a little bit of the texture. So the texture here is it's like a thicker whipped texture. Really beautiful. So smooth and creamy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my full face. And then I'll show you what it looks like kind of with a finished um, look and I'll put some powder over it so you can see kind of what it would look like if I set it with powder. But here's the, the close up of it just as is. Gorgeous. Really impressed by it. I think this will be a really good foundation, especially going into the warmer months. Here's the finished look. I just threw in a little bit of the La Prairie Loose Powder. The finish is really beautiful. If you do have oily skin, like I said, it's more of a natural finish, so you may need to use a mattifying primer or a powder to set it. If you have dry skin, I think you would love this. Um, I also think that for those of you that want some coverage but don't necessarily like the feel of a foundation on your face, 
This gives medium coverage, but it doesn't feel like some of my other foundations that I have that I can feel a little bit more on the skin. That doesn't bother me, but if that does bother you, I think you would love this foundation because it feels weightless. It feels slightly like a skincare-based product. It's very, very lightweight and so comfortable to wear, and I find it lasts all day, no pulling apart, no separating. I mean, it's been, I just did not see this coming. I did not see that I would really love this one. I'm wearing the shade L25, though I think I could go down a shade um, for the winter, but that shade was sold out. Uh, but I, this shade is, is definitely fine. And yeah, I will go ahead and link everything that I talked about as well as the makeup that I did. I'll be doing a tutorial with um, the eyeshadow palette that I picked up, um, which I really enjoy. And another foundation that I bought at the same time, and I very rarely, when I try new foundations, sometimes I'll like one, but not the other, or not like any of them. I'm very picky when it comes to foundation. But I ended up loving both of them. The other one that I'm gonna talk about, I actually liked a little bit more than this. It was like a real game changer. I tried it on and I was like, whoa, this is really amazing. So that will be coming out in a few days and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.